Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. I don't know how to sum up the last episode, so let's just talk to this thing. Welcome back, Mark Leslie. Welcome back, Don Leslie. Welcome back, Pooch. Welcome back to the home of the nest. How may we help you? I've spoken to Dr. Taylor. She's alive, sort of. That is not possible. Dr. Anna Taylor has perished. Her link to us was severed. She would not have left us if she were still active. She would not have left us. Her body didn't survive, but her mind did. Dr. Anna Taylor lives. She must know of us. She must know what has happened. If she lives, she could undo the divide. She is the link. She is the connection between those in the mountains and us. Together we form one. We are scientists. We can build and create. We seek knowledge. We seek to understand. We seek to preserve. Our brothers are rage. They seek power. They seek to expand. They dream of tomorrow. We do not dream. We are here. Before the divide, we shared this. It is what made Nest strong. It is how we survived. But now, now it must end. Now we wait. I assume at this point we go back to Anna Taylor? I'm hoping... See, yeah, the green mark here, so I think we do go back to Anna Taylor. What I'm thinking is, Anna Taylor can help them mend the divide, maybe. They should be able to help the situation between Site A and B. However, even if I reunite them... Aren't the Mosslings still going to die? So I'm hoping I can convince Anna Taylor to maybe rein them in, don't have them expand, or do something to protect the Mosslings. Marky, I need a thicker jacket. <laughs> it's fucking cold. I'm frozen to the bone. A ah, little skeleton humor there. Just thought I'd cut through the tension from our last conversation. And I suppose we'll need to lighten the mood because, uh, I gotta admit I haven't been honest with you. You mean you've been lying to me? Sorry, sweet pea. Once bitten, twice shy. This isn't the first time I've been sought out. There was a guy a while back, an agnate. He tracked down my pod and cracked it open. He was after someone had taken there, thought it would be worth something. With the pod cracked, I was relinked to the nest. I saw what they were doing and I tried to stop, but those smart bastards had built their own biome seeding device. What is a biome seeding device? The point of experiment 1436. The biome seeding device was designed to help farmers create microclimates, but Penrose Allied saw its potential as a weapon, create droughts at the flick of a switch, freeze an entire country's water supply. Hell, you could turn an enemy airport into a jungle. I created a failsafe, me. With me controlling the link between the two halves of the nest, I could control what the biome seeding device did. So you sent the Agnate to steal the biome seeding device? Yes. I promised him a treasure trove of technology if he got it for me. When it turned out that I'd exaggerated somewhat, he took off with it. Why did you want it? Why not get him to destroy it? If I had the device, I could use it to destroy the nest and end the experiment. I tried to split them up, but that just bought time. Was it you that caused the divide? Yes. As a last resort, I tried to split them permanently. I ran a small test and severed a few cubes from the nest in the south, and when that worked, I cut them all off. I can't let them get the biome seeding device. If they do, 
They will use it, they will spread it, they will kill everything. With the device in my proverbial hands, I can make sure they never leave this crater. If the device is out there, bring it to me. Let me end this, let me stop what I started. Please, Mark. Please. Sir, what do you know about large, talking plants? You've lost me there, Slick. The moss. They're a group of sentient plants here in this crater. They seem to be at loggerheads with your nest. Jesus. It's the organic hubs. So they work with the biome seeding device. How does the biome seeding device work? Well, aren't we the budding scientist? The device requires two things to work properly. A proto-nanite and an organic neurological hub. The proto-nanite is essentially a stem cell holding the blueprints inside it for the climate you wish to recreate. The organic neurological hub is grown from modified gene-spliced fungus. That little addition was my baby. We could grow these hubs like mushrooms. The hub communicates with the nanites and the nanites rapidly replicate, converting the surrounding biomass into, well, whatever we want. Well, congratulations, your baby is now fully grown. Those little mushrooms have spread like crazy. Spread where? How? Unless they're not designed to spread. They're designed to store information. This has gotten out of control. Mark, you have to help me stop this, please. This has all gone too far. Neither of these things can survive. If they've strayed this far from their origins, we have no way of telling how far they will go. They are contained now. We have to keep it that way. Hmm. I was not expecting to have them not only want to get rid of Nest, but also the Mosslings. Well, that might make it a little bit awkward, given that I've already put the Mossling in the biome seeding device. Sounded like we also needed to add the Proto Nanite in the mix. Let me make saves just in case. Yeah, I, I guess because I've inserted the mossling thing into it, I, I think it's just going to help the mosslings, right? I don't think I can go back on that. I don't think I can take it back out unless I loaded a really old save. But I think I'm fine with that. I don't know. Yes, they could be dangerous, maybe sometime in the future, but right now they don't seem to, the Mosslings don't seem to be warmongers or something trying to take over the planet. Or take over the universe? Are they even on this planet? I don't know. We get here through a tear and then we go who knows where. Um, but... I mean, they're sentient. They're alive. Yes, they were an experiment. Yes, they've grown out of control, but... Now they are these sentient things. They have a right to live. Of course, so does Nest. Like, they're sentient, pretty sure. But we know what they want to do. We know they want to grow and take over everything. We know that's going to kill at least the Mosslings, probably a lot more than that. Their climate doesn't look very hospitable to most life. So, yeah, I'm actually okay with protecting the Mosslings. Here you go, Doctor. The biome seeding device. You did it. You actually did it. I just hope that I'm making the right choice in giving this to you. You've made the right choice, Mark. I know there was no other way. You're going to want to be off the ground when this thing goes off. Goodbye, Mark. It's been... Well, it's been nice knowing you. Good luck.
Well, this looks pretty dry and dead. Did that do what I wanted it to do? Did that help the mosslings? Well, the moss is gone. We have wilderness, though. What is that? My knee hurts a bit. Blank token? A game token engraved with strange writing, but no symbol. I'm thinking the alternative is now that I've fully fixed it by putting the proto nanite in it. Oh, look at this pyramid. Um, now that I've done that, I can probably just give it directly to the Mosslings. Because I tried to take it to them before, but I hadn't put the Proto Nanite in it. I didn't realize I needed that to fix it. Keep up the pace. So I guess even if you put the thing in it, if you give it to Dr. Anna Taylor, it doesn't matter. I am going to go back and do it the other way, because I want to do it the way that I had intended to. But I want to explore what happens here. The Red Mercury. Yeah, that's it. These nests, Mark. I feel for them. I really do. They're broken, eh? They just want to feel whole again. I know they seem hard, but it's because they just miss being a family. I know they do, but I'm worried if we help them join together again, it won't be enough for them. Together they'll help each other out. They're hurting because of the split. Give them the biome seeding device. I know how they feel. Sometimes you just need your family. And if you don't have that, you lash out. They will help each other. I get where you're coming from, Don. I think about what you're saying. Thanks, Mark. I know you'll make the right choice. Yeah, I have no doubt they will help each other. That's not really the issue, though. I'm really curious how this can branch out from here. It's obvious I can go to the nest, or not the nest, the uh, the moss, but I can also go to site B, and then I assume also site A also has a green mark, maybe? Oh, it doesn't, actually. Hmm. So what would happen if I brought it to nest beta? Oh, the curiosity is too strong. I'm going to try it. The nests are dangerous. If they get out of this place, they will destroy everything. I know you have a choice here. I know you need that red mercury. We need that red mercury. We must help the moss. Girl, I'm with you. I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know who's getting this device. The moss have proven to be peaceful. They've been suffering in silence. They just want the pain to stop. The nest cannot be trusted. I understand them better than you. I know these things. They use the Chizanyama. Trick them into building that ark. They will expand and they will destroy everything. If you support them, you could be starting the next great war. I'll think about what you're saying, Pooch. Thank you. That is all I can ask. Your choice will change the lives of many innocents. Just for the hell of seeing what happens, we're going to do this, but I have absolutely made up my mind. I am going to go with the Mosslings. Eventually. The pain of being quiet. The pain of being still. 
Feeling each piece of you slowly wasting away, I have gained a new respect for organic life forms. You live each day slowly dying, slowly rotting. You are born alone in blood and filth. You die screaming and driving, trapped in your own minds. Even in the face of annihilation you fight. You love. You seek to bring gifts. With this gift I will lead the nest out of this crater. I will be their savior. I will take them out into the world and give our own gifts to you. Gifts of metal and lightning and death. The putrid moss shall know our gifts first. You may collect your trophy from their frozen husks. Know that none of this could have been without you. Now go. I am Nest. Curious what's left at Moss. The warm living terrain has been transformed into an ice bound wasteland. This looks so cool, all frozen. Even though it is all mostly dead. It's like a frozen tomb. Nothing living is left in the entire cave. Every rock is encased in silvery ice. Oh, did I make the right choice? At least we got the red mercury. Now let's do the choice we're actually going to stick with. Inside our turgid sex will be still. We will contain the spread of the nest and cease the absorption. Thank you, Mark Leslie. You have given us a future. Thank you. I hope you can find some small measure of peace after all this. We will try, Mark Lesby. We will try. You may collect your payment at the old nest reactor.
can go back down to the moss. Would things there have changed? Or was it only deployed over at the nest? Yeah, I think this looks the same. Moist, matted vegetation has carpeted the terrain. See? They just needed to keep them contained. They just wanted to be a family again. I know, Don. Frost crystals have melted away in the wake of the spongy greenery. Light winks off the metallic skins of the fallen nest. The nanites' meticulous formations have been overrun by a riot of greenery. That's how we get there. <laughs> it's hard to tell where you can walk. Let's just get the red mercury. The reactor is still seeping with red mercury. A cluster of expired nanites lies motionless. A sentient plant stakes a claim on its new territory. It's interesting. It seems like destroying both groups, the nest and the mosslings, and giving the biomcedon device to Dr. Anna Taylor is the only pathway that gives you another token? I don't think I missed it. No way. It's really thorough. Oh, wait a second. It's glowing at moss now? Maybe they'll give us a token? Weird that they waited to give it to us, though. The sound of silence. We are no longer screaming. No longer in pain. We no longer cry. This is what you have given us. Mark Leslie, you have given us hope. With the nest in tune, we are free to expand and explore, free to roam and spread. Will you ever set the nest free? A billion generations of suffering will not be forgotten overnight. Mark Leslie, the nest may not have known that we suffered, but that does not undo their actions. Don't let this cycle continue. Stop it while you have a chance. Until they know our pain, we cannot risk them spreading. We will think on your words. Goodbye, Mark 
I think I want to try my hand at answering these questions. We're probably going to die. This is an old in order to access an incorrect person who found Who found it? Emerson or Greg McC McLean? I have no idea, Emerson. You have selected Emerson. Mm hmm. Who is the boss god in war? I'm not sure if it's. That means I got it right, or if they don't tell me whether I got them all right until the very end, perhaps? Boss God of War. Bakir and Doomsage. That sounds familiar. You have selected Bakir and Doomsage. What is the greatest achievement of the Boss Empire? Hmm. Their military was very good, right? You have selected military, ready the first road in boss run. Um... Harlot? You have selected Harlot. Security personnel have been notified of your failure. Uh. Die. I don't think there are any security personnel. I think we can try this as many times as we want, can't we? Can I just re-engage the hologram? Yeah. Let's try all the same answers except I think I'm going to answer technology as their greatest achievement instead of military. You have select. Which answer is correct regarding historians, James Father Oro and Hordema Mendelborn? Okay, this is a new question, so I, I must have gotten all the previous ones right. Sorry, I didn't really pay attention to what you said. Historians James Fa Favaloro and Hordemer Mendelbaum. Mendelbaum was an Agnate spy. You have selected. Mendelbaum was an Agnate spy. You are not a robot. I am Cannon Control Subsystem Unlock. Deployment system is now engaged. Whew. We're going to be handing over a weapon of war, Mark. Are you sure that this is the right thing to do? Nope. I don't know, Don. But I know we need to get home. I know, Mok, but we need to do this right. If we do this, it should be the flay. Those mongrels, they will abuse this power. I know it's not an easy choice you have to make, but the flay, no technology. They understand its limits. Now, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Where's it going? <laughs> Up into the sky, that's so cool. So what, it just floats into position? Dawn seems to make a habit of supporting the wrong people. Gotta give it to the Flay, they understand technology. I mean, that's true, but... Remember, the Flay versus the Mongrels, and why I wanted to support the Mongrels. The Flay 
literally implant their worms into the mongrels' children and take over their bodies. They literally kidnap children. Civilian, a word please. The Blade cannot get their hands on this weapon. They will use it to commit genocide on the mongrels. Don, you should really learn a thing or two from Pooch. Supported all their decisions so far. The mongrels will do the same. Maybe they might. But, I mean, the Flay kind of deserve it? The Flay are super, super evil. The mongrels will do the same to the Flay. The Flay forced themselves on the Mongols. They used them, violated them. It has to end now. You should not get away with this. Please, Mark, do the right thing. Let's give the Mongols a weapon of mass destruction. Uh uh. Um, what am I supposed to give them? Oh, I was given an item Ion Cannon Controller. The modular frame has a built-in communication screen and several buttons for the input of coordinates. I believe this belongs to your people. You... you found it? The boss weapon? Can't make me regret giving it to you, instead of using it on you. The death we bring down on those parasites will be spoken of for centuries to come. The slingshot is yours. With this weapon, we will smite those parasites. The children of Boss will return to our rightful place. Those with swords do not go hungry. The mongrels will never again fight for scraps. Our enemies will burn. Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? Nothing left but ash and twisted metal. Oh, if you can find some peace now, without worrying about the flay. We are you, your brother, and your agnate, the dead. We've installed a device on your buffalo. If you ever wish to rain down fire on your enemies, call on us. Babel, I need the anchors that are holding the Penrose in place taken out. Tribulations Temple. Will that be a problem? Hey, we'll prepare the weapon for a full assault. We'll be ready when you call. That's what the final slot's for in the buffalo, huh? Why is this still glowing green? Why? What can I do here? This device seems like it's been designed to project an object through space and time, like firing a stone from a slingshot. 
How many parts do we need? Because we have quite a few. I think we might be missing one. So we have the tether device, we have the slingshot device, and the red mercury. Was there a fourth? Mm, I think it says in here. Red mercury, tether device, slingshot. Uh, actually, maybe there isn't anything else. Well, I guess we need the array control pylon unlocked, but it sounds like that's what we're going to do now that we have the weapon to back us up. Which makes me wonder, what are, uh, what's going to happen? What are we going to get when we go back to the arcade and use our tokens and fight? And what are we going to get for that? If we have everything we need. I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something and there is still something we need. Let's go check out what's left of the flay. Also, we have the shiny new button. Can I just press it anywhere? Like, what's it gonna do? Okay, I can't press it. Whew. Also, it did not fill this slot, so there's still another module of some sort. Mongrel lasers have scored deep grooves into every metal surface. They really turned this place into scrap. Fire rages violently. It is dangerously hot here. We should not stick around. The territory has been scarred by vicious weaponry. Smog is thick and choking. The wreckage of the turbine is aflame. Blistering lava flows thickly into the trench. You think they all did? Is that one of the nest? We are made of fire. We are made of metal. We are the children of one. We have expanded. We have reached beyond all limitations. We are pure. We shall spread. The age of one has begun. How did they... How did you get here? The age of one. That's what I wanted to avoid. Oh boy. I thought the nest needed cold conditions to thrive. We have exceeded our boundaries. We have been baptized in fire. We have no limitations. You ensured the destruction of the flay, allowing us to spring forth from the ashes of their homeland. This place shall serve as the new home to the children of one. From here we shall grow until we burst forth into the wider world. We are indebted to you, our founder. We recovered this from the ashes. The last remaining imprint of the flay. I'll put this to good use. That is good, founder. We are pleased. Now go. We have much work to do. Wish I could go talk to Anna Taylor again. We've got a problem, but I think that's just where it's going to be. Well, I made these decisions. I'm going to stick with them. I think the next thing to do is the arcade game. Uh, before I forget, though, I remembered that a long time ago when I was looking at that walkthrough trying to figure out what the heck to do, 
I saw that there was supposed to be a piece of gold in here. Indeed, there is. Not that I need gold for literally anything. Man, they're vibing. Okay, well, I think I'll end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to play this rather dramatic arcade game.